Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm training at home. I'm unable to get to the pitch right now because it's in the middle of winter here in upstate New York and they're all covered in snow so it's impossible to train outside. So I'm going to be finding ways to stay sharp at home, working on a lot of ball mastery as well as a few first touch drills just to make sure those fundamentals, those basics are staying polished even during this time when I'm unable to train outside. So I'm going to show you 10 exercises today. They just require a little bit of space. I've cleared out a bit of room in my basement. I'm going to be using this wall over here as well as these two cones which are one step apart placed in front of one another and also of course a football. So 10 exercises that get increasingly more difficult as the video goes on and if you combine all of these you're going to get a really good first touch session working on a variety of first touches directional, one touch passing, two touch passing. It's really going to keep you sharp if you're unable to get to the pitch right now. So let's get right into the first exercise. For the first exercise, you pass the ball at the wall, then you take a directional first touch using the inside of the foot between the cones. A really simple exercise, but a great one to warm up with. You wanna be light on your toes, making sure you're agile so you can receive the ball even if it takes a deflection or a bubble. And then you just wanna push the ball, keeping it close to you under control and then passing it with the opposite foot. Get in a rhythm and go for a minute straight without stopping. For the second exercise, we pass the ball at the wall, then with our second touch, we play the ball with one touch back to the wall, and then with our third touch, we take that directional first touch using the inside of our foot, taking it across our body and then repeating on the opposite side. This one's great because it adds a little bit of a cognitive element into it. You have to remember when you're taking one touch and when you're taking two. Once again, go for 60 seconds without stopping. For the third exercise, we're playing a diagonal pass to the wall, then we're shuffling our feet through the gate, receiving it on the opposite side, and then taking an inside of the touch through the gate. So just almost working on a reverse pass, moving those feet, and then taking a directional first touch. For this exercise, go 30 seconds in one direction, and then rest for five to 10 seconds, and go 30 seconds in the opposite direction. Yeah. For exercise four, now we're playing those diagonal passes, but this time everything is one touch. So you pass the ball 45 degrees, shuffle through the cones, receive the ball on the opposite side, and pass it straight back to the wall 45 degrees and get in a rhythm. Once again, go for 60 seconds without stopping. For the fifth exercise, you play the ball at the wall. This time you let it roll across your body to your back foot, open up your hips 90 degrees, and then push the ball through the gate using the inside of that back foot. Then once you get to the opposite side of the gate, you play the ball with the same foot you took your first touch with, and then you repeat in the opposite direction.
For exercise six, you pass the ball at the wall, take the touch through the gate with the inside of that same foot, and then with that same foot once again, you're gonna place your foot on top of the ball, drag it back towards you with the sole, open out, push it in front of you with the inside of the foot, and repeat for 30 seconds with your right foot and 30 seconds with your left. For exercise seven, you pass the ball at the wall. This time you're taking your first touch through the gate with your back foot. Then with that same foot, you roll it back towards you using the sole, exchange feet, roll it across with the sole, pass it with the opposite foot, and then repeat in the opposite direction. For exercise eight, we're working on that directional first touch once again, but now we're really testing the accuracy of your touch. So you play the ball at the wall, then your first touch goes through the gate and your body goes behind the gate. Once again, go for a minute straight without stopping. For exercise nine, we've got a little bit of a pattern here. So we play the ball at the wall, take our touch through the gate, play the pass with the opposite foot, back it up, and then we take a directional touch across that back cone. And we're gonna get in a rhythm here, going for 30 seconds in one direction, rest for five to 10 seconds, and then go 30 seconds in the opposite direction. And exercise 10 is similar to exercise nine, but now we're gonna be working in both directions. So we play the ball at the wall, take the touch through the gate, play the wall once again, back through the gate, play the wall, back it up, then a directional first touch from one side of our body to the other, around that back cone, and then repeat in the opposite direction. With this exercise, just go for a minute straight without stopping. So there we go guys, 10 exercises you can do at home to improve your first touch. 
And the great thing about these exercises, you're in full control of the intensity. I found that quite challenging. I went for a minute of each exercise and I'm already sweating. You can repeat that one over and over again. It's up to you how many times you do it. You can never get too good with your first touch. So these drills are always gonna be beneficial for you. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. All you need is a wall, a ball, a couple of cones. If you don't have cones, you can use water bottles or a rolled up pair of socks. And if you want more exercises similar to this, you can also check out Controller, which is my very own seven day first touch training program. It has over 50 exercises just like these that just require a little bit of room and you can sharpen up that first touch individually. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description box below, which will take you over to my website where you can pick up the program. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos and I will see you guys in my next video.